Welcome back guys, welcome back to Some Simple Gaming. My name's Someone Die. Today we're playing Survive, Surviving the Aftermath in our fourth episode. If you're just now tuning in, you need to go back and watch part one all the way up to this point. It's very exciting. Um, we're actually in a catastrophe right now, which is a nuclear fallout. And I think I built enough medical centers. I just killed a mutant deer that gave us 27 food. Uh, a lot of venison. I think it was 20, 27 venison. That's what it was. And we found a car also in the uh, while we were out scavenging, uh, looking through the world map. Our scavengers found a, an actual car. That's freaking awesome. Um, so we also got some iodine pills. We're actually bringing back. I want to say we have about six people, six to seven that are come down with nuclear sickness, and we're right in a nuclear fallout right now. Because of the intense of radiation in the rain. So we're going to go ahead and unpause it and see if we actually can make it out of this. This is the fifth episode of surviving the aftermath at some, with some simple game. Someone die, baby. Hit that like button. Go ahead. I need you to hit the like button. And it helps out the channel. Helps support the channel. If you're watching this right now, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. And go and watch the very first part of the uh, the series. This is a very fun game. It's a great city management. It's post-apocalyptic future, and it looks like we made it out of this that freaking hell. All right, let's go up through here. Let's get our car back. We have two of our survivalists in the car. It is broken down. That's why I believe it's only letting me go a few spaces. So, fuck you. I want you to heal. That's what I want you to do. How about that? Can you heal? Can you go? Can you bring your ass to a tank? Uh, hill. Hill, fucker. Alright. What is, wait, what is that? He, prefer, he prefers calling Hill's trade specialist to a mere trader. This higher than thou attitude is something he upholds in every aspect of his life. Despite his shabby attitude, he's still a comp competent, competent trader. And perhaps even more insistent on getting the best possible deal. Speaking of which, don't we have an outpost or something? I thought I got an outpost. Or it was something for trading at the gate. Yeah, there it is right here. We have a trade center and a garage. Let's go ahead and build a trade center. Like, duh. Let's go ahead and build a trade center right... Well, I'll build the trade center right here, and we'll go, we'll build the garage, a garage, right here, right, here, right here. let's go ahead and build the garage, build that sucker right motro there, and we'll get a dirt road. Can y'all come back yet? Baby, come back. Almost. Dirty bitch. Damn. Alright, so we can get... Alright, so I don't feel like we need all these medical tents now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Delete these. Survivors at the gate. Alright, so five kids. Ooh, and they bring corn. Five adults. No kids. Leadership four. Attack five. Research one. Recovery four. We're we going to accept. Come on in. Alright, so we got you. Coming on. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Why would why won't you just Oh I gotta bring I gotta build this garage before they come home. Oh, come on, no.
Hmm. Alright, so we got that there. We need eight, we have eighty eight here. Well I need to get you to bring your ass that away. What do you want? You should have stop being a B and Are we going off there too as well? Alright, so construction zones lacking resources, we need brick. Shit. She's a brick house. She's my tomato. Just let it all hang out. She's a brick house. She's my tomato. Just letting it all hang out. She's a brick. Let's see. Is there anything else anywhere? All right. All right. So there is no more wood. Right, I'm gonna come over here and start hacking this wood. And you need to start working on this area. Start re re whoa, low on food. Whoa, 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 whoa. Consumption is twenty two. Production is eighteen. That is not good. That is not okay with me. So we're going to have to build some more trappers. All right, we need to come on out here. We out here. Yeah, we can come out a little bit further now. I mean, we got a we got a thing out here. Again. We will make that high production. All right, so do, are we? Are we good with the? All right, yes, we have a garage. Come on home, baby. Waiting for resources. Oh no. Combustible liquid used in the construction and repair of vehicles highly sought after commodity in the post apocalypse. All right. Um. A science specialist. Defense scavenge, scavenge research attack. Well, all right. So a strange weather balloon-like object drifts across the sky and lands in the middle of the colony. It's carrying some kind of measuring equipment, but we're not sure what kind. There's a paper with a message on it. Where the ever-running snake makes its turn, go years worth to the old man of the forest. Help us. Where should you send an expedition? So okay, all right, let's let's see. Where the ever running snake makes its turn, go years worth to the old man of the forest. So is that like a all right? So without even re reading the uh, the multiple choice questions, where it says wherever the Running snake makes its turn. I would say a river. You know, because a snake. 
a river looks like a snake if you look at it from on like Google Earth or whatever. And go a year's worth to the old man. So maybe like an old house or something, 365 feet or yards or where is she? Old house, old tree. Oh, hey, I was 12 steps from the river bend to a big rock. All right, 365 steps from a river bend to an old tree. 365 steps from road bend to an old tree. 12 steps from the river bend to a big rock. A running snake where the ever running snake ever running is a river because it's it's always running correct <clears throat> all right so we get that so it's gonna be uh, number one go a year's worth to the old man of the forest so a forest would be a tree and a year's worth yes it could be 12 12 steps 12 months but it's 365 days 365 days ever running which is a river and then to an old tree of the forest so that's where we're gonna go with that oh my god we just got 21 gasoline did that just really happen you decipher the message and send a party to investigate the area where the balloon drifted from after a while they returned carrying all kinds of scientific equipment with them a small cave had hidden a covert research facility which had unfortunately been hit by raiders some time ago and we got 21 fuel out of it what 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 dude if you don't like this video now come on you gotta go and hit that like like the video and subscribe it's the first time watching my videos I'm actually getting a little bit better and I'm growing youtuber so you need to like the video to help support the video also, if you'd like to become a Patreon, you can start out with five bucks. I will, like, I'll give you a free game. Regardless of what the Patreon scene says, I need to actually update it. All right, so for five bucks a month, I will give you a game, a free game, every single month. And it's not going to be a crappy game. I'm only going to do this for the first three Patreons. I will give you one game every single month for five bucks. I mean, that's win-win. That's literally nothing right and I'm gonna do that for the first three patreons five bucks a month I'm also gonna shout, shout out your name every single month in a video of your choosing whatever you want to me like if you see me playing scum I will drop in you know like we can talk we can uh, I'll message you um, if you want to jump into the game with me you can like subscribe drop them comments I know who comments Tom I see Tom a lot I see Lamb of God a lot um, which is Dakota I see Brad a lot uh, I see Val, I see, I see Carmen, I see everybody that comments on my freaking bit videos, and it helps support and boost the channel up, so I just want to say thank you to everybody already that has been supporting in, in, on my channel, but I'm looking for Patreons too, first three Patreons, you get a free game every single month, and I'm not talking about a crappy game, I will give you a good game every single month for the first three Patreons, alright, now back to the game. All right, so we got garages. We're about to learn more. We got to send our specialists out. We're low on food, and didn't I build? Didn't we build something up here? That's we had a new trapper somewhere. All right, we're just waiting on. All right, see, so yeah, we're building right now. It's building. It's building. It's building. All right, so let's learn on. All right, let's go back. Hope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, let's go ahead and read this. All right, broken cars in our. An empty garage automatically upon arrival. If there are none available, they have to to have a vacant slot. Once one is free, garages require specialists to do the repairs with the necessary amount of fuel automatically made available. Broken cars cannot be sent to world map, and they along the. I gotta read that over. Broken cars cannot be sent to world map, and they, along with the assigned specialists, are hidden until repairs are complete. Are hidden until the more you assign for repairs, the faster the work gets done. Thank you for that. That's actually pretty cool. All right, 
Uh, what are we going to do? And then we got to send these guys out. Um, that's right, the trapper. All right. I thought we can get an extra trapper on board. I think that's in the tech tree. We have a 208. And do we have anything? A reinforced gate. What was that? Yeah, Approaching a reinforced gate makes anyone respect a society living behind a, it a bit more survive. Survivor groups are questioned in more detail before being allowed to join the colony. Sometimes questioning can reveal important information about the group's conditions. Okay. Engine overhaul. While, while it is a miracle, the big old clankers haven't all rusted shut. Their engines are surely in need of more than a quick tune-up. One act, one action point for a station wagon. Huh. Blow torches. Cutting or bending metal is and I don't even know what the fuck. Artist, arduous, 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 arduous. Fucking English lane language has the most dumbest. Like there's words that I don't even know that we have, and I don't even know how to say that. All right. Cutting or bending metal is in horrible process. With blow torches, it's still slow but it makes the work quicker and more bearable fast vehicle repairs frontier post unlocks out outpost the depots used for establishing and maintaining outposts on the world map expanding your colony influence past its borders essential for the colony survival is essential for the outposts allow specialists to drop off their scavenged resources without traveling back to the colony. After dropping off the resource off at the outpost, they are automatically transferred to the colony and one outpost depot can support a single outpost. One outpost depot can support a single outpost. I don't know what that means. What's depleted? This over here is depleted. Okay. Alright, so we're super low on food. Holy crap, we're about to start starving. That's not good. Why is it waiting for a worker? Like, get your black ass and start freaking working. How about that? Alright, so we're going to have to have more trappers. That's all there is to it. So... Let's go ahead and tear up. We don't need all them roads. You don't need all those roads. Stop. Stop building it. Thank you. Oh man, we're low on food. We have four venison. These people need to like start up in their game when it comes to that. Come on, guys. Oh man, we need another trapper. Because that gives us four venison. Four every day. So, four, eight, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four. How many? We should have like four trappers. So, one trapper there. One trapper there. Hundred percent efficiency. 100%. Oh god, 36 efficiency? That's horrible. Nope. 100% efficiency there. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna build another trapper here. Actually, I'm gonna build another one as well because we are really running out of food, and that is not okay. All right, so. You don't tell me what. Oh, what is this? We found somebody new. What is that? These people do their darndest to grow anything and everything in Wasteland soil. While the townsfolk have quite a few eccentric theories on radiation powered plant life. Their hort horticulture accomplishments are undeniable, but tread carefully as they can be rather militant defending the post-apocalyptic garden. Reputation 350 out of 1000. Trade 02 diplomacy is grayed out. Go ahead and have a seat. Just mind the plants. Alright, so we, this is a trade menu. I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. Alright, so let's look at it. I'm, I'm, before I start commenting and everything, I just want to kind of look at this and see what's going on. We do need food. We do need food. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of junk. Medicine components. Those are 15 a piece, 6 a piece, 20 a piece, 12 a piece. Antibiotics, 25 a piece. You get two. Okay. Those are seven apiece tools. Okay. Pills containing radiation absorbing iodine used for curing radiation sickness use iodine pills speeds up the healing processes. Process considerably. Iodine's three dollars per a piece. I mean, um, twenty-five cents a piece or twenty-five silver a piece. I am not selling. I have seven only. Uh, metal is four a piece. Plastic is four a piece. Go and sell. Let's see, fifty plastic. All right. What about clothing? 33, So, those are six dollars a piece, those are fourteen a piece, and six. What about seeds? Sunflower seeds is four hundred and forty, carrot is five fifty. Fuck. That's thirty three hundred. Firewood. Carrots is six dollars a piece. All right, let's 
go with that. All right. Let's go with 15. Okay. So we get some more tools. Forty. I see. Three forty two. Damn, I need four forty. Why is it? Why is my balance going down? Go down, fucker! I'm trying to sell. Oh well. All right, so we have bread now. Wait, what? I guess we need to trade with him one more time. It won't confirm. Why, why, why can't we confirm? All right. Oh, there's what I need. Alright, so we can bring our food back and we have scavengers ready to go over there. We need lots of things. <laughs> God damn, that scared the shit out of me. When a car is fully repaired, create a team from the garage menu. This will send the car and its specialist passengers to the world map. Go down to the garage. Crate team. All right, now we can send them suckers going. Wow, that goes far. So I'm going to go pick up some nuts and bolts. That's what I'm going to pick up. Alright, you're almost got enough wood. Alright. Oh, we're out of food. They need to hurry to flip-flop up.
and 43. All right. I'll go ahead and grab two more. All right. Now I'm come back. Baby, come back. Get that sucker built right there. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we can unlock something else here. Reinforced gate, low torches. Let's go. Let's go with food. We need to get some food going. Yeah, that'll add one extra work slot. We definitely need to get that going. Alright. Alright, let's see where we got guys. What are we doing? So, send your ass back. Hmm? Don't get you some tools, stupid. We have plenty of them. All right, so we need to take all right. So what do you got here? A group of colonists tell you they've seen an old bear walking past the camp no more than an hour ago. It, wa it's wa it walked slowly like it. it was injured, but might still have plenty of fight in it. If hunted down, the bear could provide the colony with considerable amounts of meat. We're going to have to take the chance because we have no food. We got ten berries. The group returns with the ashamed look on their faces. They couldn't track down the bear and had it and had to turn back before the wandering too far. They did find some berries on the way, but it's a far cry from the prize than they had originally pursued. I, that's fine with me. I don't really care. We had to do what we had to do to get the food. Alright, so um, let's get let's go ahead and we go with basic farming. We only have 58 pop. There we go. Starve to death. I cannot help that. I'm so sorry. Son of a bitch. Alright, so I need you to... Yeah. I need you to grab some points. There we go. How many points is left? 334. I need you to look in that. Ooh, it looks like a car. 
hatchback, as a matter of fact. That's cool. Alright, so we'll go here. You need to come back. You have a lot of stuff. Alright, we need to get you get some bolts. How many bolts did you get? You got 14. Good deal. Alright. Oh man, we're zero food still. Alright, so that's the main thing is trying to find. Food. Low food. Oh, we got 16 food from somewhere. Trade convoys have arrived. Alright. Um, trade. New resources are now unloaded to the gate garage. The garage gate, okay. Who's ready for action? Who's ready for action? Alright, so where do I need to send you? I'll start sending you this way. Are you talking to me? Sure. Here I am. Cheerio, matey. Go ahead and get some more research points. How many is left? 134, which is following me. Low food, 24. It looks like we are getting more food now, though. Alright, that's what we needed to get. We needed more food. Basic farm is complete. Food storage, consider yourself fortunate to have so much food that storing it becomes a problem. But is the food alright, so we don't we don't need that right now. Uh skinning that gives us uh an extra fiber every time we get that. Let's see no. Um, knowing knowing how to process different types of scrap means no. Yeah, we need to get some frontier outposts. Yeah. Alright, so our consumption is 22, our production is 34. Alright, so we are getting our food back up in order. Get some more points. There we go. Alright, so that is officially empty. That is empty. Come in here. Put that away. What you got? Fuel. There's 49 fuel there. We definitely need to get some fuel. Alright, you need to go back home. You need to come back over this way and look. Can you look? No, that's already been explored. Okay. All right, so we can actually resume you. Do we have anybody to? We don't have any workers for you. Okay. We don't have any workers for you either. All right. Um. Oh man, we're really low on food still. I thought we were doing so. We thought we were doing good. Group of survivors at the gate. Fuck yeah. Five and one. Yeah, they bring some food. Um, attack two. We got another explorer finally. Can you let us in? I don't know where else to go or what to do. I'm not a leader, but someone take charge after we. But someone to take charge. Now, I'm not a leader, but someone to take charge after we were attacked. Alright, welcome home. Alright, so they look like we got some homeless one already. Let's go ahead. We need to build. Ooh, we got a small hill we can actually start building on. It grows slowly over time. 
but I can't rebuild that. It's... I guess we have to have seed, and we don't have any seeds. So, 25 wood, 14, 10, 12 of that. Build one of them. Uh, engine low haul, torches, production, panel, coating. Solar panels are not the world's sturdiest invention, and flying debris or extreme weather can slowly wither them. Coating the panels with translucent material protects them from the smaller things. That requires a lot of energy. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and research that so we can get some more energy. This is only putting out 8, and we're actually at a negative 4, so we actually need to build another solar panel. Do we have enough stuff to build a solar panel? Yes, we do. We have things to build two solar panels. Alright, so we'll build a solar panel there. We'll build a solar panel there. Well, as soon as that gets built, we will have homes for you. Build that, go ahead. Outposts are here. Outposts work has a drop-off point. Okay, outposts work as drop-off points for the resources your specialists have gathered. Be careful when placing the outpost depot because demolishing it will get rid of the outpost in the roadmap too. Alright, so you, this is done, we will have this start coming, filling up with people that want to live here. Alright, we'll go to the world map. How do we build the outpost? Specialist hurt, press here to hit. A specialist is hurt to recover health, order the specialist back to the colony where they will heal automatically. Which one's hurt? No one says they're hurt. Wait, what? Trade. Trading with other societies is a good way to acquire much needed resources. Once bartering is researched in the tech tree, build a trade center. Discovered social, uh, discovered societies can now be accessed from the trade button next to the world map button. Okay. That's the world map button. Oh. Societies. Oh, I see now. Trade. Let's go ahead and trade. You want? What do you want, guy? What do you want? We got. What have we got to give you? One canned fruit. Nope. Uh, plastic. Nope. How about some tools. Is that some tools? Let's. let's what, um. Twenty tools. So that'd be this forty-nine. Go with that. Confirm. Bam. All right. And no, I'm guessing they'll actually bring it. They'll send it. Yeah, they're sending it now. All right. Um. Yep. Yep. So your attack is at one. And what, what is yours? It's a four. Out the car. Car needs to go back on. Repairing cars. Cars found in the world map are usually broken, moving at half of their maximum speed. They need to be repaired at Groth. Alright. Got you on that one. Can you look? So there's people. You're almost home. Unload what you got. You have seven moves. Kind of need to get you. 
More centralized solutions to feed a growing number of hungry mouths. Warm meals keep hunger away and putting a smile on everyone's face. So it doesn't hurt to, to put some extra love in the food everyone eats. The cookhouse creates a, and distributes nutritious meals prepared from raw food ingredients. A logging camp produces firewood for the cookhouse to operate. All right, so we'll get a cookhouse and we'll get a uh, logging. All right, um, and then we get line cooks. Flailing around next to a pointy and hot things is a recipe for disaster. Line cook training helps several people work efficiently and safely in the kitchen. Advanced farming scythe, heated hives, alternative proteins, protected crop isolation, boring methods. Bigger barrels, delicacies, coated hoppers, chef training, organized kitchen. So yeah, we're gonna get uh start getting this. We're gonna get closer to this uh, the communal eating, and I want to. I bet they uh, <clears throat> everybody starts. You know, maybe the food consumption might go down a little bit because it'll be a little bit organized in the eating process of it. So let's see if we have anything new that we can build. We can put it off there. It looks like so. All right, and see crops. Yeah, water. No. No. We got an outpost. Allows to establish the outpost in a neutral sector on the world map. So how does that work? Alright, um... I don't see where I can... Maybe if I build it, it'll... Come? <laughs> I don't know, like... Alright, um... So build that. And maybe we can... Go to the world map and... Or something? I don't fucking know. I don't actually know. Yes. What? What do you want? Hmm. So we'll go here. What's her attack? Five? Holy crap. That's a four? Yeah, we're going to attack your ass. And then. Eight. We'll get those bolts back. And we're good, I think. Alright. Alright guys, if you like the video, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. we got a crops going. we got to get a seed. Uh, i got to figure out what these outposts actually do. But uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the, to the channel. And remember, the first three Patreons, the first five Patreon, I mean, first three Patreons that donate the $5 per month, you get a free game every single month. And it's not going to be a crappy game. The game is going to cost $10 or more. It's an even trade-off. It's random. You're going to be able to accumulate games like I accumulate games. 
Um, I got hundreds of games, hundreds of keys that I haven't even, like, even activated yet. So all you gotta do is just become a Patreon. Five bucks a month. My first three Patreons that I get are gonna get free games and a shout out. Uh, so everyone, thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks for everyone that comments and watches and shares and leaves likes. And thank you for supporting the channel. What? And we're gonna be growing. Uh, I'm gonna start growing even more. And I'm, I'm trying to get to the thousand subscribers so I can start monetizing my videos. And once I start monetizing my videos, the more money that comes in for from ad revenue, the more I'm gonna be able to give back to you guys. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.